hey what's up guys welcome to this video tutorial and in this video guys we're going to discuss what is file handling in C and then I'm going to give you a basic example we're going to create a program on how to handle files inside our C program so basically guys um, C files input or output functions um, handle data on our secondary storage devices such as our hard disk and C can handle the files as stream-oriented data or system-oriented data or binary files. So again, guys, we're going to focus on this. So the first one will be stream-oriented data files. And the second one will be system-oriented data files okay so when we say stream oriented data files the data is the data is stored in the same manner as it appears on the screen okay so I, I hope you can see that um, the input Output operations like buffering, data conversions, take place automatically. While system-oriented data files, the data files are more closely associated with the operating system and data stored in memory without converting into text format so this is gonna make sense later on when we try to implement our very simple file handling inside our C program now there are five major operations that can be performed on files so this will be again I'm just gonna list it uh, list it here just for you to see because I think it would be much clearer if you can see all the details all the things that I'm talking here so C file operations so the first one will be creation of a new file the second will be opening the third one will be reading the fourth yeah fourth one will be writing data in a file and last will be closing a file so these are the five major file operations the first one is create again creation the second is opening so we could open an existing file and then we could read the contents and then write data into a file so for example in your program you want to save an information so you could write data into a file okay and then of course whenever we are opening a file we need to close it after using it inside our program okay so the steps there will be steps for us to set up the file operations so these are the steps for processing a file so number one will be declare a file pointer so this is important so we need to declare a file pointer variable and then this will be our variable that we, we're going to use whenever we want to work with our files and then after that one we're, we need to open a file using f open method or function okay so after that we're going to process this will be number three process the file using the suitable function right here and number four will be closing close the file using f close 
function also. So if we want to work with files inside our C program, we want or we, we might want to check this uh, steps for processing our files. So we need to declare a file pointer variable and then we're going to open the file using the fopen function right here and then process the file using the suitable function. So for example, we want to um, iterate through the lines uh, inside the file if you want to save or maybe write information into the file you can do that here in step three meaning you could process the entire content of that particular file and then right after processing maybe uh, you need to close the file or not maybe you must uh, close the file after closing or after processing it inside our C program so basically guys there are a lot of functions that we could use when when we say um, we're processing a file so to handle files in C um, file input or output functions available in the stdio library are the following so I'm just gonna list it also here for you to see so we also uh, we already discussed the, the the two functions the first one will be F open and the second one be uh, the second one will be f close. There are also uh, functions such as get c, which means um, we read a character from a file, and then we also have put c. So this function put c writes a character into a file, and then also we have get w, which means we need to read an integer from a file and then we also have put w so write an integer and we're going to use this later on this particular functions okay so you need to be familiar with this again if you want to read characters from a file you need to use this get c and then if you want to write um, character into a file you you need to use put c and get w gets the integer and put w write an integer into a file and then we also have f print f so f print f um, prints formatted output into a file and we also have f scan f so reads formatted input from a file we also have f gets right here so f gets a read string of characters from a file and we also have the next one will be f puts and then uh, the last one is f e o f so f puts write string of characters into a file and then we also have f e o f so it will detect end of file marker in a single file okay now as a sort of example we're going to implement a simple opening and closing of a file and maybe writing a um, specific text or something into our file so we're gonna do that right here so at first we need to remember the, the, the steps for processing a file we need to declare a file pointer so in order for us to do that we're going to have to follow this syntax right here I'm just going to copy and paste it here file open so as I've said we're going to use this function f open and these are the um, possible um, parameters that you could use okay so to put it simply we could use this we could declare a pointer variable so f p and then semicolon and then we're going to use that pointer variable and then use the f open function right here and then 
uh, we could say here file name dot txt and then another uh, parameter and then we're going to use here w so w means that the file is being opened for writing and if the file does not exist then uh, there will be new file um, created okay so um, let's just return zero for now okay after that we could close our file okay if we open the file we could also close this so what we what we need is to use the f close function and then passed in the uh, pointer variable which is fp right here okay and right after opening the file and before closing the file this is where the processing of the file uh, processing of the file happens processing of the files right here process and of uh, processing okay so inside of processing we could just uh, simply uh, if you remember we have different functions so get c put c uh, f print f so we're going to use this so for now let's just say uh, f print f okay and then open and close and then semicolon and inside here we could specify the pointer variable which is fp and then of course um, percent s percent s where is it percent s there you go and then hello world where okay hello world there you go so after this we could um, save our file and then build and run okay so for now we're getting process return zero it means that the execution of the program is successful so we're going or we're trying uh, we're going to try to open the um, file that we have created and as you can see here I have my um, project right here from documents code blocks projects and then programming knowledge and then if we try to open this we can see the text hello world okay so there you have it on how you can write files or write lines of um, strings into our file by using this simple program right here and uh, i think that's all there is to it in this video in the next uh, tutorial we're going to read um, text inside our um, files and then display it in our maybe console or we want to if we want to process the contents of the file inside our C program. So thank you for watching guys and I hope to see you in the next video.